All right, friends, we are at another Learn Pack exercise, and in this case, Learn Pack is teaching us something interesting about lists. As we have seen previously in the HTML course, lists by default already have some predefined style that adds these small markers. In this case, this is an ordered list, and in this example, these are unordered lists. But did you know that we can change these markers to whatever we want? Well, let's do it in this exercise. First, we need to add this. For example, let's add what LearnPack is showing us here because this can be useful. Notice that this is basically modifying my UL elements to have the list style set to none, which means it has no list style. And look at what happens now. You can see that what previously had dots now has nothing at all. But let's continue. Let's look at the HTML. And you can see that we have a list of beverages like Pepsi. If we select this Pepsi class and place it here, LearnPack tells us to do something with this Pepsi list. By the way, this is called a class selector. It's when you place a dot and then the class you want to target. In this case, look at what LearnPack is telling us. It's saying to make the Coca-Cola beverages list appear with lowercase letters. So let's place it here. We'll write Coca-Cola. And for this, let's place list style type. And instead of disk, We'll put this one here. As we are using the Latin alphabet, we'll put lower Latin and see what happens. For Pepsi, we'll also put a list style type and use what LearnPack is suggesting, which in this case is square bullets. So we'll just enter square. Plus, we've got healthy, which we'll see over there. This one, the healthy one, we put healthy and set the list style type, and in this case, it's Armenian numbers, so we'll put Armenian there. Furthermore, let's remove all the bullets from web developer drinks, and in this case, dev drinks, I think it already has nothing. Let's load to check well if we have lowercase letters, squares instead of circles, Armenian letters, and a list with nothing. Let's run the test to see what happens. It usually takes a bit of time the first time, but there it is. It's correct. It's perfect. We've learned how to give some style to list items that were just circles and numbers before, and now they can be basically whatever we want by simply changing a rule in our CSS.